Greetings everybody, this is Haitin and welcome to the first place on Drechon. Well, I've been surfing around the visual novel database and I've searched up for some visual novels that, I, that might fit my taste and from what I've heard, Drechon might be one that I like. So let's check the preferences. Joystick? <laughs> joystick. Freaking joystick on a visual novel. Let that sink in, okay? Do me a favor. Using a joystick on a visual novel. What next? Tits on a ball? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Continuing on, let's lower the volume a bit just so I could be on the safe side so just speak a little bit better. <sighs> it's just one pretty just play ear ear breaking ear eardrums ear, eardrum destroying music. And yes, I knew that I should so, so play some more known games, but you know. I just just let me have it, okay? Just let me have this. We'll see, let's start the game. Class, we have a new student joining us today. I want you all to make feel welcome. You can come in now. I opened the door. A hushed silence fell over the classroom as I nervously approached the English podium. And I wrote my name on the chalkboard. Alright. Uh. Hood. D. Kun. No, hoodie. Just hoodie. I'm hoodie. It's very nice to meet you all. Welcome to our class, hoodie. Please you can see over there. Yes, sir. I could feel the eyes of every student upon me as I made my way to the empty desk. And thus began my first day at a new school. I don't want to touch my Bible this fast. So I knew it was lunch time. I wish my school days would end just so quickly. Hey, hoodie, come sit with us. Alright. He asked me questions about where I moved from and what my hobbies were. All of the girls assured me that if I was going to come around the campus, I could ask them to come. Wow. I never expected that, I, that, that, they, that, that people would be so friendly and helpful to the uh, kids. Some of nice people and what fun to do with them. Damn. I don't make, I don't make friendships this fast. And I know it's not going to be my eye. A demon! No. Oh wait, that's just uh, Hatsune Miku. That girl came by herself at the back of the classroom. Not eating, not studying, just staring. Straight at me. I probably asked her, um, excuse me, what is it? Oh, my God. Well, I could recall, I don't think she stopped she didn't say right. Maybe she, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe she, maybe she thinks she knows me or something. I knew I was a new guy and all, but I was still, still was a bit nervous. Even as I tried to shift my attention back to the conversation, I feel her breaking keys piercing the back of my head. Lady, stop this. I feel, I feel your eyes on my brain. Hmm. As I turned around to get a better look at her, she got up and walked out of the classroom. That was weird. Who was that girl? My first exactly. In some check was saying I thought I would be curious who the fuck is she. And why, and why was she saying so intently? Yep, those spots are very in character for me. Is she know me from somewhere? Pretty, pretty cute, isn't she? Huh? I turned back around, back around and saw Albert coming on. I agree with looking at I said she's cute. Yeah, I guess. It's true, she was. I'm a little bit like that. I thought maybe that's not where I was trying to get over her. Her name is Mia. We introduce you to her, but she's not in the socializing side. Another student said, well, it's not in the arm. He's a recluse. Not anybody tries to talk to her, she can walk away or just ignore them. No, I don't think I've ever seen a girl from the feet if you want to socialize. I have, but I don't even care for substance. Even that's not like a robot. She's basically a Spartan woman, but she just speaks in the common sentences. Yes. No. Thank you. Goodbye. She tends to avoid human contact whenever possible. Hmm. Is it because she's shy or not very good at talking to people? It's possible. She wasn't in class at me. She wasn't in the same class in the last three and a half. She behaved in exactly the same way. And then she was not eating at lunch at lunch time. Damn, she's a bitch. Maybe she has a pain before her weight problem. Most days she was leaving the library and sleeping until it's time to get back to class. Too bad. She's a bitch. Oh, he asked her out. 
tell you where I would be going out with her. <laughs> like you just had a chance with her. Hey, shut up. Why is it hopeless? She might be weird, but she doesn't have a either of you. I know, right? There's no chance. Come on, there's something like that. Help me out of here. Leave me out of this. I sure you don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. All along with Prince one time. All along with Prince one time. Smoke some weed and shit. After class ends, I was invited to come hang out with my new friend. Whoever was instructed to meet with the principal after school in order to pull out women in my afternoon friends. Oh shit, I mean the principal. I'm already marked his first day on first day of school. Seriously. Sorry for the school and I'm fucked six way from six way from Sunday. Damn, I got that. We have to look at the plan around him. Don't worry, I'll go tomorrow. I promise. The sound of somebody being quiet. By the time I had finished filling out my forms, everyone had already gone home. I left the principal's office and walked down the empty hallway. Hoodie! Huh? As I reached the second floor, I saw the voice calling my name. Oh, I was not expecting any anybody else to be here, especially not her. But there she was, sitting right in front of me. The, cr the reclusive girl who was staring at me all, who was staring at me all for a class. It's for also a day only time she's in for less reclusive than before. I'm really glad that you're trying to play school. When I saw you were in our room for me, I thought you were in the room just didn't see me. But here you are. Finally, we get to be in the same class together. I'm so happy it's almost scary. Uh, yeah? That's weird, I don't know you. I don't know scary. Yeah. You don't know me. You might be confused. You might... <clears throat> Girl, I was confused. You must have me confused. So I'm a big guy. In a matter of seconds, this girl had, a, had gone from being a functional music to a heavy puppy. She was talking like he had never before. I figured I would remember me so much as her. I think. I was strong and complete blind. More importantly, what was, what was she doing with her own heavy puppy? Don't worry. I, some, a friend of mine from a... Uh, I think elementary school I just walked up and said, Hey! Hey man, how are you doing? And I'm, oh, sorry. I'm just like, uh, hey! I of course like, hi, I don't know who the fuck was he. Apparently, I, I, I look really recognizable. It's possible that she's sitting behind to catch up on some studying, but that still didn't say much when she's sitting in the halls like that. She was maybe waiting for me. It couldn't be that she was waiting for me, was she? I remember back to my conversation with the other students this afternoon. They said that she was a bit of a weirdo. Maybe, maybe she is, I guess, a bit weird, but I don't mind that. Well, you know the title. You know the title of this visual novel, so I already know what the fuck is wrong with it. But it could be just I should be confused with some, someone else. Exactly, as I said before. Girl, I refuse. You must have me confused with the sound of a good eye. Could it be that she forgot my name, hoodie? No, of course not. Spontaneously. Although that wasn't actually a lie. I don't think I've ever seen this troop before, much less know her name. Wait. God, so cute! I still wanted the guy to be fighting over her. I don't understand anything about upset her. But was it really important, so important for her knew her name? I really want to put my foot in my mouth. I don't find, find I hadn't forgotten it. I had no choice to fall for an answer. Now think, hey. I remember that one guy told me to her name during lunch. I think she was Mia. Yeah, Mia. Me something. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Her name is Okay, Mimi, Mimi Mini, Ace Attorney, Just for All, Miku, Hatsune Miku, Blue Hair, Vocaloid, Mia, Mia Fei, Ace Attorney, Mia, that's her name I think. Mia. Judging for the awkward silence was clear that I had gotten wrong. Hoodie! Huh? Ah! Explaining what happened, she had leaving my arms and putting her face on my chest. Hey, 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 hey! Three second rule. I knew it would never forget me. You never did something so mean. This is wonderful. It's finally happening. This is a dream. I can feel you. Your body is so warm. You're actually here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, hoodie. What was up with this girl? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Exactly my thoughts, my dear me. One utterance of her name and she was over me. 
maybe I can use this to my advantage. <laughs> Not if I was complaining or anything. Yeah, this protagonist is just disturbingly, just acts similar, disturbingly similar to me. It's not every day that cute girl throws a soldier over me like this. Yup, that's my life in general. Oh, I did feel bad at the only reason I haven't because another student just haven't told me her name. It's not like I remembered it because we had previous encounter with her. I think we have told her the truth, but she was so happy that I just didn't want to upset her. Yeah, I just can't bear to break someone's heart right now when they're so happy. I just can't. I just don't have the heart. I'm just not enough of a jerk. I'm too nice. Well, nice guys finished last. I just had to live with the fact that I lied to her I never met before. <laughs> well... Together, then can each launch together and get stuck together and... I was so deep in my own thoughts that I hadn't noticed that she was still talking to me. Holy shit. I only bet her because my bite had tightened. It's like she was worried that if she let go of me, I'm going to manage to get or something. Well, I'm not made of sugar. Well, maybe I'm a bit sugary sweet, but that's a different case. It was a good thing that there was nobody around at the time. Maybe I saw a girl hanging off in the gossip with a white wildfire. Yes, I hate gossip. I'm not insulting to those who spread gossip. I'm not insulting those who spread gossip. I'm not that fond of just gossip. I just don't like to be involved in gossip. But excuse me, I'm going to get myself something to drink. Okay, I'm back. Especially since the girl in question was the quiet recluse that all the guys were gunning for. <laughs> so wait, that means that, the ch that this girl is slower shy? <laughs> oh jeez. This would be safe, but I just decided to do something bad. They grabbed the hold of Mia's shoulders and the portal pulled her off me. Huh? Why? Why did you pull away, hoodie? Why would you do such a thing? Gah, it's like a baby who just had their favorite toy taken away from them. I'm not your boy toy. Boy toy! It made me feel like a real jerk. Although it wasn't really, it wasn't really at fault. That's a normal reaction being hugged by a stranger. Stranger danger! To her, she probably thought it was acceptable because they were allegedly knew each other. Allegedly? Yeah, I know that feeling. I don't know you. No, we knew each other. I, I, I know you. Wait, you're the chick who sent me a friend. You're, you're the chick who sent me a friend on Facebook? Yeah, it was me. Don't you remember me? No. Aww. I need to tell her that I wasn't polite to jump with people like that. Even if that means you look ass. Come on now, take it easy. It's great that you're happy and all, but it's not nice to run into people. Huh? As I was talking, I took a step back. Then I felt my foot kick, foot kick something on the floor. I looked down and noticed that the entire level of the school supplies. And that's not all. They were all labeled property of Mia. I wasn't sure what to make of that. I never met anyone who was in the habit of labeling all the possessions. Sorry, that was my bottle. Well, I, I, um, should I say label, like, my school books, you know, and that's all. Well, for I knew she was a class who could frequently lose her things and start putting labels on them so they could be returned to where they found. Or maybe she had a compulsive habit of sticking labels onto everything she owned. So basically, she was the female equivalent of Double D from Ed, Ed and Eddie? Cool. So if that were the case, she would have also had la have labels on her desk and over her uniform. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I would have noticed if she did that, unless they were on the inside of her clothes. But once again, I was getting off track. In summary: There was stuff on the floor that wasn't there either or there. My guess was that my my best guess was that when Mia jumped into jumped into my arms, she dropped her school bag and spilled all her, all, her, all, her, all, all, <laughs> all of her things onto the floor. As if there wasn't any other possible reason. Still, it was funny how it took him so long to know that. Seriously, you should pay more attention to what you're doing or, or somebody might get hurt. I lectured her as I knelt to pick up her bag. Uh, who is mad at me? He yeah, looked away with a dejected expression on her face. <laughs> her adorableness was making it very difficult for me to keep a serious face. I'm not mad. I'm just not a big fan of stepping on somebody else's things and breaking them. <laughs> Speak of a devil. Yup, that's just me in real life. I say something that might, I just say, I just don't want to do something wrong, and whatever I say that I don't want to do, I accidentally do. I say that something bad is gonna happen, something bad happens. My life in general. 
As I was packing the tools back into her bag, I shifted my weight onto my left knee and I accidentally crushed the calculator that had fallen underneath. Oh, shit. Needless to say, it was also labeled property of Mia. And need also needless to say, my knee was hurting. And there was a tear in my pants. I guess that's why I gave her buying them at a discount clothing store. <laughs> I guess somebody does, I guess somebody has to buy his own clothes. <laughs> I picked up the calculator and examined it closely. The screen had been completely shattered. So kind of like my uh like my, like my female friend's phone, huh? Ugh. I know that feeling. My phone also had a shattered screen once. I replaced it and since then I protected my phone like a fucking treasure. I could see small drops of blood my on the inside circuitry. It had been rendered completely useless. So not only did I break the freaking screen, I also bled all, all, all over it. Holy shit! Damn, that was overkill. Just lovely! I look at Mia her back and with complete shock on her face. I constantly scolding her again about the importance of, about the importance of self-awareness. But judging by her, by her expression, it looked like she understood what she did. I calmly took back up and handed her her bag while I was, while I was holding the, the, the broken calculator in my other hand. Uh, sorry about that. I'll buy you another one later, I promise. Uh, uh, Mia? Hey, no? Huh? Whoa! And once again, she tackled me. Only this time I was knocked to the ground. Ah! Stranger danger! Ah, what's that about? Uh, I said that's why Mia frantically pulling back my left panel and examining my knee. Mia, what the hell are you? Hoodie's knee! Hoodie's knee! Hoodie's knee! It's injured! Hoodie's knee is injured! That's the first of the it. Are you alright? Are you in pain? There's blood! There's dirt! I'm telling you, he's the wound! He's going to get infected! We're going to get sick! Stay right there! Come on! I help you! I'll help you! He was unbelievable. The girl was falling to pieces with a tiny cut. I get tiny cuts every single night. On my wrist. Uh, no. A cut that she was partially responsible for causing. But at that point, my back was turning considerably, considerably more than my knee. Yep, forget about a broken arm, break your neck. You know what they say. No that re a result of being tackled to the floor. Also her fault, kind of bad. I wasn't about to bring that up. The kid, this kid was already treating the situation like a cold blue emergency. Maybe it's just summon the fucking XCOM project to help my broken... How'd that time cut? If I told her that I said to see another injury, she'd probably have a heart attack. It was strange, but in another way it was kind of cute. Wow, I rarely ever meet with someone, someone who cares about me this much. I guess there comes a time in every man's life when hoping a girl who would make a big, big fuss over him. Well, even in her wildest dreams, I doubt any of the girls play as quite as recklessly as, uh, recklessly as this. I had to put a stop to it before she went too far and ended up calling an ambulance. Hey, Mia, look, I'm. Ah! I trailed off my own fucking and couldn't think what she was trying to do. I can't have a just as long as I'm going to from my knee. What in the hell are you doing? <laughs> Whoa, where? Not into that! <laughs> that was too close. Me looking in the startled eyes. But if I don't clean the wound germs, I'm going to get in here, you will get sick. Hey, don't, about, don't talk about me in the third person. And if I let you lick my cut, you'll get sick. Was she for real? She was willing and ready to lick my wound clean as a kind of animal. At least kids better instead of licking it better. What the hell, do you? Are you into stab into into stab wound into uh, open cut oral sex or something like this shit? And given the way that that and given the way thing I process it, that I asked one, it actually her mind in one bed. I knew that I like things go on any longer, so I was gonna get hurt. I quickly rolled up my pant leg and got back on my feet. But, hoodie! Look, I'm fine. See? Nothing, nothing a band aid won't fix. Speaking of which, I better dispose of this before anyone else gets hurt. I walked into a new like, classroom and disposed of the broken calculator in the trash. Me, I stared vacantly at me as I walked out of the crowd of classroom. Now, oh, come on, don't get dirty if you stay down there. I held out my hand to help her up. As I moved towards her, her line of sight didn't change. She seemed to be lost in her own little world. I'm moving closer and into her nush from her shoulder. Mia? Uh... Mia jolted like she had just been woken up in a deep sleep. She blinked a few times.
hands and then moved his hand in front of her. I held my hand out again to help her up. She stared at it. And someone with a final shrink took my hand and I pulled her up off, off the floor. That was strange. It was like she had totally switched off. Wait. She's a cyborg! She's a robot! Ah! What was that about? I started to brush herself the dust of her clothes. I guess she didn't mind because she was any signs of resistance. Resistance is futile and totally lame. The average girl probably get nervous if boys start touching them. At least that's what I've been told. I was thinking if I was, if I was becoming, becoming abundantly clear that what they wasn't dealing with the average girl. Heck, from what I witnessed in this short amount of time it's been scary. I think that it was safe to, to assume that the concept of personal space didn't register with her. Unless, of course, avoid the flow of avoiding contact with the rest of the human body. Yeah, that meant I was special. Why do I always have to be a special one? Why can't I be normal? I didn't know whether that was good or bad. I'm turning off again, Hoodie. I didn't need to stop doing that. I saw myself on the cheek. Ouch. I can't stop doing that. Stop me as close. I was actually really quiet as a mouse. And her expression of the back at the same vacant one she had throughout the day. It wasn't here very difficult to tell what she was thinking. Strange. One minute she was bubbly and vibrant, the next she was a mannequin. We had, we had been a long day, particularly within the last few minutes. Maybe she was just tired. I know I was. Every way I could. Every way. I can reach it. Uncomfortable feeling that was getting from all the silence. It's getting late. We should get going. I don't know about you, but my mom would keep my ass when I'm home from dark. Well, I, my family will be able to give if she's home from dark before dark. I tried to alleviate the strange things of awkwardness I was feeling by making a joke. <laughs> yeah, if my parents, shall I say, if I'm at home by dark, my parents just call me and say, Hey, son, are you okay? Yes, I am okay. Okay, then, goodbye. Yeah, most of the time I'm just spending time at, at a friend's house or something. A truthful joke, mind you. I knew for a while that what awaited that what, that what me when I got home was a fist full of whoop ass when I blew up mother. <laughs> mother! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my mom. Nah, Jesus Christ. I am judging from a complete lack of response because Mia wasn't even, Mia wasn't even listening to me. Mia? Huh? You still with me? Oh, hoodie. You're very sane. Where'd you go? Uh, I guess I wasn't going off the country for getting lost in my own thoughts. Maybe she's a secondary protagonist. That, uh, you, that she just... She, she may be me from an alternate universe. That would be self-obsessed, maybe? In that case, I was able to get to cut her some slack. Well, never mind. The important thing is you're back now. And just in time, too. I should be going before it gets too dark. I'll miss you outside. Huh? You just forget something back in class? No. Hold up. <laughs> oh, uh, okay then. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just sweep you outside. I stiffly turned around and heard toward the stairs. stairs. Guess that's why Mia was being so quiet. She needed to use the toilet, but wasn't able to speak up because I was too busy putting my hands all over her. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Not in a bad way, mind you. It must have been embarrassing for her. I, for once, feeling very pretty sheepish. I could see, if I could see my face in the with my, my, my face was bright red at that point. Smooth, see? Just smooth. Making a girl turn around listening to you while she's in the ladies' room. I continue to content myself as I know my way outside. After a few minutes, Mia came out, and the two of us made our way to the train station. Ugh. I remember that I have to get to my new school by tram. Like, five, ten minutes of tram traveling. A lot of time has passed since school got out. Don't mind by saying they missed my train. Ordinarily, I would be a much earlier train to get home. But due to my meeting with the principal today, I knew I would have missed up my missing. So I checked the train schedule before I arrived at school with me to when the next one would arrive. I was hoping to finish school like my forms to make the station time to catch it. However, due to my unforeseen encounter with Mia, I ended up missing my train as well. I went over to the timetable again to see if I have a train which was behind the the next train wasn't due for another 20 minutes. I figured I should just call my mom and tell them I was going to be late. I thought I was done that sooner, but if something that happened, I never had to completely split my mind.
much better. Okay, mom. See you soon. Bye. I foresee an asteroid in the near future. Jesus Christ. Almost makes me wish I would come home. Hey, Mia, can I sit over at your place tonight? I can sleep on the floor or the couch, whatever. I just need to avoid my mom for the time being. <laughs> or maybe she was just lost with her, with her world that she didn't know where she was. <laughs> God damn it. Just as well as I was. Just as well I was before that one. If Mia was seen by herself completely all her surroundings and some perv sat down next to her, well, I don't want to think about that. I had more than enough flesh for spots for one afternoon anyway. Ah, that's, that's not even close to the average for one day, don't worry. Ground control to Major Mia. This is a trip to ground control. I'm clipping through the door. I just have to meet a light on my shoulder. shoulder. Huh? And put a much like back as a she put the day a small jump. Oh, goody. The one and only. I see an exact response too. I was starting to wonder if this girl was really as interested as anyone said she was. Perhaps we were just spacing. For example, when the other students started to try to talk to us. It could be that her head was in the clouds and she simply didn't notice them. I think it's an equally good thing to be able to be reclusive. And that will also account for our reputation for being weird. It could be that during the course of our bridge account for I, the new kid managed to solve the mystery of a quiet loner girl. I'd say that I could find find to be able to solve the next day. It's possible that I was also be able to help me and make some friends. Unfortunately, the part of the new dad, I had to make sure that she made home one piece. I just checked the timetable. My train will be here in about 3 minutes. Can I check to see when your train arrives yet? Should I take you guys? No. Go and check, please. Mia, yeah, please, your bag and see and look at the timetable. Okay, that was just weird. I felt like I was a parent or parents were changing the child child about bringing her homework or something. I asked Mia in a soft, yet assertive voice if I had done what she was supposed to. She hesitated. I asked her in a safe voice. Seemed to avoid do as she's told. I asked her more than something she gave me and did. Is this how my parents feel when they have to discipline me? You know, I once disciplined my mother. She came home she came to my room once, she was a bit drunk and she was kind of probably kind of sleepy and after a while of listening to her bullshit she went mom go to sleep and what do you know she listened to my advice and went to sleep and left me the fuck alone look at the an apology I was just me examining the timetable because of her height she had to sound over to us too properly it was funny to watch not to mention pretty cute I should probably stop being a jerk and go over there and actually help her. Yeah, an extra step of ice will help her find her train quicker. I got up to walk away for her. I didn't remember her school bag was seated next to me. I turned back and saw that I was found on the seat. And some things had fallen out. Again! Apparently this girl was not in the habit of closing her back properly. I bent down for a clean the eye left into the bag. And then something caught my eye. Among the spill contents of the calculator I accidentally broke and then disposed of. What on earth is she doing back in Mia's bag? She didn't. Back at school, when she said she needed to use the toilet. Could it be that when she finished, she snuck back into the classroom and took the calculator out of the trash? It's also possible that she needed to use the toilet to begin with. Perhaps she simply went out and grew cycle to leave her and she could sneak in and take it. Come to think of, come to think of it, the time she started getting all quiet was when I disposed of the calculator. 
when I was brushing the dirt off of her. The direction she was staring in was the classroom I disposed of, of it. And the time she had been giving capital again was after she came back from the toilet. Of course! You all made sense now! For some unknown reason, y'all really wanted her calculator back, regardless of its condition. All the pieces were falling into place. I felt like motherfucking Sherlock Holmes up in this bitch. Sort of. But why would she hide it from me? More importantly, why would she lie to me in order to retrieve it? Why didn't she just ask me to keep it back to her instead of letting me toss it away? Was it really that precious to her? It just looked like an ordinary calculator to me. But for all I knew, it was a gift from a loved one that she cherished with all her heart. I guess I really didn't have any right to just throw it away without asking her first. I decided to put it back and pretend I didn't see anything. Given the circumstances, it was the least I could do. What the? As I went to put the calculator back in the bag, I felt something slimy on my fingers. I looked at my hand so I was covered in a clear liquid. It was saliva. Ah, Nasty! How did that happen? Wait, I, will I get spit on at some point? What the hell is with some people? As I recoiled in disgust, I dropped the calculator back onto the ground. I leaned in to pick it up, and I noticed something. Okay, that's bizarre. The calculator also had saliva on it. Wait a minute. She almost licked my wound, and the calculator that had some of my blood on it had saliva on it. <gasps> She's a vampire! Help! I'm not on that range, but mind you. It looked like it was a broken screen that I ran down when the calculator was tilted upwards. Even though, even so, there was a lot of it. It was as if someone had been making out with it, like one of those really steamy movies my mom doesn't know I watch. Hey! Hey! Don't tell anyone. The real question was, was it me a saliva? Or did it get into the calculator because something else was also into the trash? I just happened to have saliva on it. We should we should we should check we should do some DNA tests on on that shit. A lot of kids threw up the food wrappers and stuff into the trash at lunch today, and some kids are pretty keen on looking at every glass crumb or whatever from the packs and they just threw them away. Maybe it came from one of those. It wasn't even about the realm of possibility. But wait, I could remember whether or not the trash bag had been replaced if I disposed of the calculator. Hoodie. Whoa. I spun around to find Mia standing over, standing over me. Where did, when did she get there? She must have had the stuff of cat. So she's like Catwoman. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't worry. I'm not that lecherous in real life. Don't worry. I'm just kidding. My train arrives in 18 minutes. Huh? Alright, great. What are you, dumbass? I at least tried to run over what she was doing beforehand to avoid looking suspicious. I quickly stuffed the calculator into my blazer pocket. Given its condition, I was thinking that it wasn't the best move. What are you doing on the floor of my school bag? On all oh, this? It fell down when I was just picking up for you. I stood up and handed her her bag. She had a dubious look in her eye. I hope that she didn't feel the need to verify that everything was there. Who oh, is so nice? She's always looking he's always looking out for me. Aw, oh, give me a hug, you adorable you. I'm so happy. Mia yeah, took her bag and hugged it, hugged it tightly. Not because she was using with the calculator. No doubt because she was assuming the calculator was still in there. Little does she know that was currently in my pocket. Uh, yeah, that's me, all right, Mr. Nice Guy. I swung away from her a second time. Some nice guy I was. Sure, I took it out of spontane spontaneity, but that was no excuse. I need to find a way to get the calculator back to me without, get without her getting mad. So, uh, your train was a ways off as well, right? Well, in that case, uh, let's think. God damn it, I'm getting options. Let's think, uh... Let's just not make this weird. You thirsty? I saw a vending machine right over past the entrance of the station. I figured there's enough time before our trains come to have a soda. You want one too? Buy three. A soda from Hoodie? Sure, I'm not getting one for you. Just tell me which one and I'll get it. My friends sometimes borrow like a little cat, a little change, just to just fight in front of any machine. Don't worry, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, I would. Dude, these guys almost just like me in real life. Bits. Not 
come to the my wallet, they want to like waste like, money on anything. But perhaps she was misinterpreting my kind gestures in the morning than what. She had no way actually been around with the five ones for the past or the reason I think it should be right red. I bet if I was in fact I had to head to the right in those. Dang, that would be fun to try. But we'll be able to pay me if I better not. Unless she wants to. I'd like to see me out of her misery before she had to go from the again. Yeah. Wait. While she's, while she's still in the La La Land, put the calculator in her backpack. Do it, do it stealthily, all solid snake style. Mia, I tapped her on the phone on her shoulder. Hey? She jumped again. Oh, pretty. Me again. I was saying this is all a solid snake style. She's not comfortable with me by mistake. We both go, go over the machine and buy one for ourselves. She glanced at the vending machine. Hit it back to me. It looked like Mia was really struggling to pick up her mind. I rub my throat with frustration. This was again much too much of a hassle. I was about to discard the whole idea when lemonade. Pardon? I want lemonade. And that wasn't so hard, was it? Lightly tied me on the head. She shrunk down her seat. I don't think it was because she didn't like it. In that other case, she would probably will pull it away. But if anything, her face had been really very important. Funny, we didn't show as much humility when she was embracing me back at school. Heck, judging from how she behaved back to Monkey Lover, I assume that she was capable of expressing it. Even though she only got so far with her shy with her nose. Nah, she probably just run away. She was kind of hard to match with me as an angry violent. She's not the type of aggressive type to me. Remember the title of this visual novel, dear viewers? Down there a charm. You know what Trian there is? I mean, a woman who goes crazy because she loves someone. Well, not a woman, a male too. Basically, someone who goes crazy because of love. Mostly violently. Alright, well, there it is. We'll be right there, I'll be right back. Huh? As I got out of the machine, me, I grabbed my sleeve. I turned back to look at her. She, looked, she just looked at me at me silently. Something else? You know she didn't respond, I was pretty sure I really knew what she wanted. Mia? Did you still want to come with me? What so? Alright then, up you get. We need to hurry from the bottom of the drinks and fish before our drinks before our trains arrive. Hold on to this leaf and yes, put up as we walk over the machine. I'm sure I'm gonna hold hands and help hands with me. How about you know, I'm good at holding hands? I guess she really wanted to stay with me. I guess she completely forgot to take this cool bag with her. How did it matter because it seems to be the only one that's in the so what's going to be the phone line? And besides, the only object that she cared about was the one with the bag in it. And, uh. Uh. Maybe I shouldn't say that it won't get stolen, because otherwise it would probably get stolen. I was still carrying a broken slide with all the calories in my pocket. It probably didn't even have that slide with them in the first place. And I probably pulled out a trash or something to go back to the bed that she had in the Lucky for her. And brought out a wet, slimy blazer pocket. I was at the front, going to throw it. I still even thought I was going to stand from the vending machine. And yet earlier on, I chatted with the exact same thing. Boy, I was really off my game. You know, I think I should hire Ice Cube as my third tutor. I think you should teach me how to spit game as bitches. I mean, as I please. Because apparently, I know, because I can't, according to Cheryl Lloyd, I never had any, I never had much game. I'm the change back. Really, what's the matter? Are you going to get your drink? I have a lemonade. Are you still thirsty? Uh, yeah, of course I am. Once other one lemonade, I'm gonna come right out. I'm gonna get a change out. I need to find one of your big words for me at the end of the drawer of the calculator and just look straight to the back of the bag. I have a chance to put some of my pocket money for my chain on the next annotation. That's why I rest from you, bye. Perfect! Uh, stay me, uh. You need to use the men's room. Here, I'll ask you some money to buy for drinks. I'll be with you in a sec. Uh, I'm going to go to the restroom and go to the bathroom. I'm going to go to the bathroom. 
back on the next video. So, I'm to get to the Let's roll into the video now. Gotta work down to the circuitry. I just hope I won't get any electric shock. So, I made sure not to use too much water. I didn't want to get my ink trapped inside. So, I didn't want to get my ink back. Back to the damage school bus. As long as I washed off the slide by the block from my broken street. Then I forgot that about the blood in now. Oh well, as long as I washed it away, it didn't matter. Oh, I was still at the shelter that was proper, proper, complete. Mm -hmm. I grabbed some paper towels and wiped your eyes. I took it in my office pocket and get back outside. I didn't want me to get back to the next time. There was me at the scenario where I left her. I was looking at the machine. And she was still getting the machine again. It looked like she didn't even watch the trees yet. She was starting to get into the collection. Maybe she was having some of the cost in the room. And the guy was fine with me. Because he didn't want me to work with China. He was in a bag in place and had to get a bag for China. So, it was possibly a return and I was flying in. And she was almost ready. And she was still flying in. Okay. Here I was, sneaking around, trying to prevent some girl from noticing that I had accidentally taken the cat calculator that I broke it for weight. And then she slowly pushed out the dress and put it back in her bag, which I accidentally uncovered, stuff in my pocket, clean, and I'm trying to get back to the police now. Is this a Mission Impossible shit? Seriously, people, if you're still reading this thing, think, I thank you. Seriously, people, if you're still watching this without probably just clicking with this and discussing, thank you. Alright, baby. We're trying to put an end to this video because it's just gonna stop plot. <laughs> Why am I breaking the fourth wall? I don't even break the fourth wall when I'm, when I'm asleep. So I try to put the calculator back down and wait for a better opportunity. Welp. Damn, it's all quiet. It's all creepy and shit. Welp. If the train might arrive any time now, so she'll. Let's put it back now. She's in parallel distraction. I'll take the opportunity to pull it back while she's not looking. I scurried over the bench where our bags were. I slowly opened the frame on me as Maggie was up to face the other side. Hoodie! Yes! I spun around to find me the same behind me. Seriously! She had the stuff of a cat! It was frightening! Like she wasn't trying to become an assassin or something. Well, as they say, apparently the world's greatest assassins are mostly women. This was bad. Mia yeah, was turning and giving her a vacant look. It was making it difficult to watch what she was thinking. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Was she on to me? I tried to regain my composure. I stretched out on the bench and attempted to look through a and obstruct Mia to the school bag behind me. Uh, hiya Mia. What, uh, what's the, what's the matter? I don't see your lemonade. Aren't you going to buy one? Are you no longer first? Yeah. <laughs> My voice was panicky. Well done, hoodie. Keep hanging like that and she will suspect a thing. Mia's gaze shifts to the ground. I followed her line aside. She was looking at the calculator lying by my feet. I must have dropped him when she startled me. Busted! Mia silently knelt down and picked it, picked it up. Mia, I can explain. You see, while you were over the timetable, your back flew over and fell out and... I'm sorry. Huh? I said I'm sorry. I liked the hoodie. I said I need to go to the toilet because I just want to get the calculator back. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Do you hoodie? Please forgive me. Don't hate me, hoodie. This girl. <laughs> Dummy. Why wouldn't I forgive you? I can't forgive you, I She was like nothing. She really was pretty cute. I guess we are both just a couple of liars. I look like we were both worried for nothing. We both apologized to give one another. And everything was right once more. So we waste that work to get on the bench to wait for our dreams to arrive. What's this? What's going on here? This can't be true. It shouldn't be this way. This isn't right. What's the matter? I turned towards Mia. I seem to give you more attention. This isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right. This is... Mia was clutching her calculator. I turned to look through the course. Oh shit. Oh shit. This isn't right. This isn't right. Mia yeah, was wrong. This isn't right. 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 Why is it this way? Why? Mia, yeah, calm down. What the f I'm actually between it. This is actually tricking me the fuck out. Excuse me. I need to fucking make it a bit quieter because I'm getting creeped out.
Mia. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Pull yourself together. Wrong. 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 Mia. <sighs> Should write Mia's face and she finally snapped out of it. I had actually watched Gentleman only speak to do, but one can't, well, one can't argue with results. That was actually pretty creepy when she was like, "This isn't right. This isn't right. This is right." She was just, I was just afraid that something might happen, might happen to her. Oh, hoodie. That's my name. But seriously, what the hell just happened? Are you all right? Why were you showing like that? Without replying, Mia handed me the calculator. What am I supposed to be looking at? You don't see it? No. And what am I supposed to see? That's just it. It's no longer there. You've lost me. What's no longer there, Mia? She was getting red again. It was making it difficult to keep up with what she was saying. Who's blood? It's no longer there. Who's blood is gone? Why is it gone? Why am I blood? My blood? That's what she said. <laughs> it took me brain a while to comprehend. You mean from when I cut myself on the screen earlier? It was very earlier, but now it's gone. Why is it gone? Why? It was strange. Why was me getting so little of my blood like being on a broken calculator? Unless... A thought came to mind. But not one I wanted to consider. It could be that the calculator itself had no sentimental value to Mia. Rather, it was my blood in the inside that she wanted. Of course, that were the case. Then that meant I, that the saliva I found on the screen was in fact Mia. Which could mean that she had been licking the inside of, a, of the broken calculator. To get to my blood. What's that what she was like she was earlier? Has she been licking my blood with the calculator she came out from the toilet? Could it be that she had some, got some kind of flesh to my blood? Maybe that was the real reason why she should talk why she had to some flesh my knee earlier. Oh, I didn't let her. She was the next best thing. The calculator I injured myself on. And still had some of my blood on it. Hold on. Let's not jump to conclusions. I could just be over analyzing things. Maybe I misunderstood what Mia was talking about. I don't want to get anything over her. I need to come clean. Say, Mia. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. She got off on the tangent again. I shook her shoulders gently this time. Mia! Huh? She snapped right out of it. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that this game has a high amount of bad ends. If you can die, if you can't freaking die right out the freaking bat, and this is the ending I get, tonight is going to be it's just, it's just, getting, it's just going to be freaking embarrassing. This was, that was considerably easier than before. Listen, there's something you should know. When the calculator fell out of my bag earlier, I noticed the blood and saliva on it. I assume you pulled out the trash and filled in your bag so fast you should notice them. So while you were at the vending machine, I went to the men's room and washed the blood and saliva off the calculator. I was hoping to pay it back in your bag before you noticed, but you know the rest. Look, I'm not understand any reasons, but I don't think it's better safe to be walking around with a bl broken, bloody calculator. I just stood there, staring silently. Once again, her face had reverted back to the vacant expression. She appeared to be deep in thought. Oh, yeah, there's a question for response. Hmm. Must be getting dark. I could have sworn I just saw the sunlight disappear from Mia's eyes. I looked at my watch. Nope, the sun wasn't just sit for another half hour. Compensate with more blood. Huh? Oh, crap. <laughs> Ah! Come with more blood, hoodie! At least I managed to hear what she said with the in the dark. Bad end. What the f- <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! I can't freaking believe it! I just don't. You know what? I'm going to make two videos of this. This is the end of the first one. The second one is going to come soon. I'm go and the second one, I'm going to try to get to a better ending because that shit was just pretty insane. So, for now, if you like this video, click like down below. If you want to see more, subscribe. For now, it's it. Goodbye.